guys welcome back to no catchy name it's me ella it's late in the day i procrastinated and plus i was busy earlier i was gonna vlog today i started vlogging and then i forgot to continue vlogging <laughs> which i do a lot but uh anyways i had an ob appointment this morning it went good it was just one of those like regular checkups you know how you feeling i'm feeling good that's good measure your belly blah blah let's go <laughs> that was it <laughs> it's one of the boring ones um and then we did a little bit of shopping uh get some grocery things last minute i still need some milk i grossly didn't understand how much milk pudding needs because <laughs> i'm making banana pudding for my sister's house tomorrow and for my in-laws house thursday and i didn't i only have enough milk here for my sister's house pudding that i already made um so i have to buy more milk tomorrow to make it for my in-laws anyways <laughs> and i came home and i made a big old huge bowl of banana pudding and um some deviled eggs to take to my sisters tomorrow and um i laid on the couch for a little while because i was tired <laughs> anyways so i was gonna do a vlog today but since i didn't vlog i thought i'd just go ahead and show some happy meal because i've gotten quite a bit of it and uh, i need to show it so that i can put it where it goes so yeah first i got this little package from rose from rose likes crochet I participated in her um, Wings charity for the one that was, I think October, was um, like dishcloths and stuff. Earlier this year, she sent a lot of us YouTubers some yarn to make dishcloths with just to spread like awareness for it. And uh, so I wasn't aware that I would even be entered into the giveaway, but I was. And I actually won one. So, got a little organ in the bag. So I want some little stitch markers that she's made right here. They're little pink butterflies. They're really cute. And then it's also got a candy in there and one of her cards. So I got that from Rose. Let's see back in there. Now I can put, I'll probably put stitch markers on this thingy and I'll keep that little kind of bag for when I, uh, and I found my missing light bill. <laughs> it was stuck down in my happy mail. I was wondering what I did with it and uh, I found it, but anyways. So that was from Rose. And then I got a card from Summer. She sends me cards all the time and I love it. She lives in Kentucky. And this is a Thanksgiving Day card. It's really pretty. It's really, really pretty. Look at that turkey. <laughs> so it's a really pretty Thanksgiving Day card. And she always includes uh, some little stickers. So there's some butterflies. Oh, that's really bright. Um, Donald and Goofy. Some tie-dye hearts, which I'm pretty sure I got some of these from her last year. Some flowers. And then just some stars and hearts. So, I actually saw um, Stitching It Easy is uh, doing, she has a sticker book that she's putting stickers in that people give her. I think I'm actually going to do that because I get stickers a lot in the mail. Sometimes I get them for me and for Jesse, so I always give Jesse his, and then I keep mine. So I think I might do something similar to that. I used to journal a lot, so um, and I would cut stuff out of magazines that I liked, and I would glue it in there. It's like Pinterest before Pinterest was a thing. Uh, so I might start doing that again with the stickers. I think it'd be fun. But yeah, so that was from Summer. Thank you, Summer. This is a Christmas card that I got. Uh, I got this today from Gloria. She lives here in Tennessee. This is a really pretty card. So I got this one today pretty front door and it is glittery there's like the snow is glittery it's a really pretty card so thank you so much for that Gloria I love the name Gloria that is one of my favorite names and actually I have two songs that I absolutely love it's Gloria <laughs> and one of them is Gloria that one I can't remember it's, uh, who sings it and then there's one that is by somebody I can't remember who sings it <laughs> I'm spacing they're both on my phone but it's the one where they spell, it's guys singing and they spell the name. G-L-O-R-I-A, Gloria, G-L-O-R-I-A, that one. <laughs> okay, anyways, this, this package came from a mystery person. They didn't uh, sign a thing and they didn't leave their name. But it was a mystery thing. <laughs> and what it was is this bag. <laughs> Full of candy, got a bunch of Almond Joys, uh, a regular Kit Kat, a cereal, fruity cereal Kit Kat. And this one here is like one of those key lime Kit Kats. Some M&Ms. And a Pop-Tart. <laughs> so a bunch of goodies. 
And actually, Almond Joys are Devin's favorite um, candy bar. So I'll, I'll probably give most of them to him. And then there's also this 2022 pocket calendar. This thing popped out. <laughs> and this is just like a cute little card. And then there's two little ornaments that you can pop out and use. And then some stickers. This is for the disabled veterans. Right? Yeah. Um, I donate to them sometimes and get these types of stickers and stuff. And they send Christmas cards. I got Christmas cards from them and uh, little notepads and just little things like that. My address labels, stuff like that. So a bag of goodies. Which now that I've showed it, I can put it in with the rest of our candy. We have so much candy because of Halloween and everything. We are good for a while. So thank you, mystery person. And then this package came from Northern Gal. Uh, that's her handle. She asked me not to use her real name, so I'm not going to. I gotta organize. I got stuff everywhere. And this is a, um, I don't think this is, yeah, okay. This is a Thanksgiving card. I can't remember if it actually said Thanksgiving, but it is. Got a cute little squirrel on it. She wrote me a note in there. And she made some gifts for June, and they're so adorable. So first there's these little tiny knitted booties that are so cute. They're so cute. And then it's got this cute little bonnet style hat. Untie. So it's a bonnet style. It is so cute. And she sent me the rest of the yarn in case I wanted to use it. And the yarn is uh, Loops and Threads Baby Bliss Cutie Pie Pink <laughs> is what the yarn is called. So that's awesome. These are so cute. Can't wait to use those. <laughs> and she'll be little when it's cold next year, so it'll be nice to uh, have those on there. So thank you so much for that, Northern Gal. I put that with my baby stuff, which I've actually got to be pulling some of it out soon because I got to make a hospital bag in December because uh, we were told <laughs> I was suggested to do it around like 32, 33 weeks just in case she comes early. Uh, so I got to get that stuff packed up and ready to uh, grab and go out the door if that happens. <laughs> All right. This next package came from Karen. Oh, shoot. I left some of it in there. She also sent some sheets and pillowcases, <laughs> but they're, they're still in there. I'll, I forgot that I set them aside and I forgot to put them back on the box. But, um, she sent me a ton of fat quarters and some cards. <laughs> so she sent me a Thanksgiving card. got like gold on it like gold shimmer <laughs> it's a thanksgiving card and then this is a just a, like a regular everyday card pretty big cardinals i love cardinals and then this one is a christmas card it's really pretty cards i'm just trying to see what company made them because i don't think i've ever seen this, you know, like you know the styles usually of different brands. But she's in a huge box of fat quarters. Try to, here's some of them. <laughs> they're just all kinds of pretty uh, prints. Like the sub subtle prints. They're not like crazy in your face prints. All different colors. Oh, I'll lift the box up to show you guys. These are good. I definitely use these. Here they are. <laughs> a whole rainbow of them. Because I can use these to make the two-toned uh, drawstring bags or quilted bags if I wanted to quilt them. Um, so these will probably be popping up in the shop eventually as, like, I'll pull out colors that go good together, like them two. Maybe a different, you know, other colors and just, I'll cut them up into pieces <laughs> and um, sew them together in different ways to make um, kind of like patchwork almost um, style bags. So I'll definitely use these up. I might actually play around with this in December. Since I'm not planning on updating the shop after the beginning of December, I might still sew uh, so that I can just mess around with different styles and then in the new year, maybe have different things to offer. <laughs> but uh, so I'll be definitely using up all these and I still have some fat quarters of my own that I can mix with these ones too. So that is awesome. Thank you so much for that. 
And the last package I got <laughs> is actually hilarious. This is from Linda at Linda's Yarn Barn. And she messaged me on Facebook and said that she sent me a package and that it'd be coming today. Was it today? Sometime. <laughs> so I went, I had to go to the post office anyways to drop off all of my bag orders. And this was there. And as soon as I seen it, I knew exactly what it was before I even opened it. And I opened it just, I opened it because uh, I wanted to make sure it wasn't a letter in there. And it wasn't, but uh, it is a, I saw this and I was like, oh my gosh, I know exactly what it is. And then inside of it are 16 boxes of these. <laughs> these are Jesse's favorite um, cookies, snack things. And his he doesn't like the regular Nutty Buddies. Um, and they're also, the regular ones are fatter than these ones. I might have something to do with it. But uh, the Christmas ones, the North Pole ones come out around the holidays. And then around Easter, I think Valentine's does too. Valentine's Day and Easter. They have same similar ones that are with the white chocolate and like a drizzle on it. I think the Easter ones have sprinkles on them. But <laughs> uh, he only likes the white chocolate ones. So I always stock up when they sell them. Because they only sell them a few times a year. And I mentioned that we were having a hard time finding them. And I was still, I looked at today at Walmart after I got this. And they had the Christmas cakes and those little round Christmas patty cookie things. I don't know what they're called. Um, but they didn't have any of these. So I guess these are really popular for a lot of people. But she had mentioned that she lives close to the factory that makes these. So she said she was going to run in there and check and see if they had any. And she was going to get some. <laughs> I was thinking like a couple boxes. But no. There are 16 boxes in here. <laughs> so Jesse has plenty of cookies to do him for a while. Now they do expire at the end of the month. Uh, December. But I know from personal experience of having these. That they don't actually go bad for a long time. Because we, we usually buy them up um, and eat off of them until they sell them again. They don't actually go bad. I think that's just, you know, that's the best buy date. And the, the stores usually just use best buy dates so that they can keep uh, stuff rotating. It's not actually like anything that's going to go bad in there. It's not like milk. <laughs> but yeah, so now we have a huge box of these. And uh, I mean, Jesse be eating the heck out of them because I like them too. <laughs> But I thought that was so funny. I was laughing in the post office because as soon as I seen her face on the side of that little Debbie, I knew I told Devin because he, he went in with me to carry the packages because I had a bunch of them. And I said, I know exactly what that is. <laughs> and it was just so funny. And um, I appreciate it a lot. And Jesse will too. <laughs> He's seen them, but he doesn't know that they were bought by someone other than, you know, us. I didn't explain the situation. <laughs> but it was just so funny um, to get a whole big case of them. <laughs> Because I wasn't expecting a case of uh, Little Debbie's. But I appreciate that so much. And uh, I know he will too. He'll be eating them like crazy. But yeah, so that's all the current Happy Meal that I've gotten. I'm pretty sure. I'm glad I found my light bill. Because they don't let me pay it unless I have the bill. Because it's in Devin's name. Because when we first had our power turned on, we weren't married yet. So it was in his name. And I keep, I, you know, I haven't added myself to it yet. Because I'm a procrastinator. But I found it, which is good. Because then I can pay it through the drive through And he doesn't have to go in and do it. There you go. What electricity. It's going down a little bit. It usually does for us in the winter because it doesn't get like crazy cold here. So we don't run the heat all day long. Usually just at nighttime. So it's pretty low. It's like 77 this month. <laughs> usually during the summer, it's like around 120. And then the rest of the year, it's around 70 to 90. Which is probably not a good price because our apartment's very leaky. All the windows and doors and everything leak air bad because these are old apartments. But uh, I don't worry about it. As long as we pay it, I don't care. <laughs> and as long as I'm uh, warm in the winter and cool in the summer, I'm happy. But yeah, so that's all my wonderful happy mail gifts. My little baby stuff. I don't know. I might have to see if I can find an outfit that matches this. And maybe take this to the hospital when she's born. So this could be her coming home hat and booties because she's gonna be born in january or february hopefully not any sooner than that so it's gonna be chilly <laughs> so i'm excited and we got all kinds of candies and cards that i gotta hang up now i can hang them up now that i've showed them what else did i get uh my stitch markers from rose i'll put them on my thing right here i pulled off some christmas ones the other day keep my christmas ones on this side <laughs> so i can start using them on my projects and um 
all my fabric that I'll be using up. These are some really pretty uh, fat quarters. I don't know if they're all the same brand. I didn't, I didn't pay that much attention to them when I was looking at them. But they're so pretty. They're going to make really pretty bags. Just mixing them together. Look, that one's got sunflowers on it. They're so pretty. I'm going to just mix and match them and make cute little bags. <laughs> I thought about um, just making bags throughout December you know, at home without making, putting them up to sale. So that maybe at the end of December, <clears throat> after Christmas, or sometime in January, I can have a bag update and have a bunch of bags. Because I have some of those, um, I call them crap bags, <laughs> but they're snap closures. They're metal things that you squeeze and then it pops open. <laughs> I have some of those. I have like 10 of those. So I want to use those up so I can make some of those. I have a bunch of Notion pouches from leftover fabric cut out. And all I gotta do is sew them, you know. Uh, so I thought about just using it up, just trying to use up my stash and cleaning it up a little bit. I bought a bunch of liner fabric today because I have a bunch of print fabric already um, from where people say they've sent it to me or I just have it left over from other shop updates. So I can um, make bags start December to uh, just have on hand to update the shop with either maybe it's super end of uh, December <laughs> or sometime in January. Uh, yeah, I guess that's it. I got all kinds of stuff here to make bags with because I like to buy stuff in bulk. Um, so I got plenty of stuff to make bags with. I just have to sit down and do it. Right now I can't do any sewing because I have a puzzle on my table. <laughs> I will have to make a drawstring bag sometime this week for my giveaway that's going on because I want to put a drawstring bag in it. But that'll be easy. Those are super easy to make. I can pop them out <laughs> really quick. Um, so one of them will take no time at all. Anyways. Yeah, so that was what I did today, and also my Happy Meal, which now I have to put up. <laughs> and, um, I don't know where I'm going to put them little Debbie things. <laughs> I'll have to clear out a space in the pantry for them. We have a little tiny pantry, but, uh, I'll find a place to put them. <laughs> they won't be in there long, I'm sure. We'll eat their own pretty fast. I can't remember if Devin likes those. I think he does, but not as much as me and, me and Jesse. But yeah, so, uh, tomorrow was Wednesday. So we're going to my sister's around noon we're gonna hang out there for a while i'm gonna take my marbles board because we love playing marbles um and we're probably gonna pay, play some phase 10 <laughs> the card game um eat a bunch of food <laughs> let the kids play together my sister has a son and then jesse so it's just the two kids so far <laughs> until june is born but um just hang out with my family and uh eat a lot of food try to take a picture because we don't we haven't had a picture of me jesse and Devin <laughs> together in forever i think the last ones we took was christmas last year they were like nice you know like someone else take them not a selfie that we took <laughs> somewhere so we need uh some good pictures of us and then thursday we'll be at my in-laws a lot of the day so tomorrow evening i gotta make more banana pudding and more deviled eggs to take to my in-laws thursday friday we don't have too many plans that day except just taking Jesse to the church uh, where the kids get to shop for the parents thing. We'll do that in the morning because <laughs> I want to kind of get it over with, you know. I don't want to have to leave something else because then we can run around and do whatever the rest of the day. Saturday we're going to go to a lot show at some point. Probably in Lebanon. I don't know if I want to go to the dancing lots or if I want to go to Chad's. Maybe both. I don't know. I'll see how I feel. <laughs> I really want to go that one in Kentucky, but I just don't think I'm up for a... Because it'd be like an eight-hour drive, because it's three hours up there, plus driving around it, getting something to eat, because we always get food, <laughs> and then driving back. And I just feel like I'd be so sore. <laughs> and then uh, Saturday also in Lebanon is a um, craft fair, but it's a uh, oddities one, and it's a Christmas one. <laughs> it's called... Um, what's it called? Merry Mayhem, and it's uh, like oddity themed, nerd themed stuff, and me and Devin's wanting to go to that, so we might go to that um, and check it out and buy some cool stuff, <laughs> and then go to a lot show afterwards. It'd be fun. But yeah, so that's that's our plans that are actually set in stone, and then I don't, <laughs> just playing in there, I don't know what else we're going to be doing. There's no telling. Devin's off until next Tuesday. Jesse's off until Monday. And then he's only got to go to school like three more weeks after that until he's off for Christmas break. And then he'll be off until the beginning of January sometime. 
which is crazy. I can't believe that he's already like halfway through kindergarten. It's crazy. They're doing Santa Claus at school this year. It's ten dollars uh, to get a picture with Santa, so I think it's cool. They're gonna set it up in, I guess, the gym or somewhere, and they're gonna let the kids talk to Santa and then take pictures of them. So I'm looking forward to that. And I ordered his yearbook, so I'm excited to get that. Yeah, just regular things going on. But uh, I wish I had remembered to vlog today. <laughs> but uh, I will be vlogging a lot soon because a week from tomorrow is December 1st. So Vlogmas will be starting. We're going to make cupcakes this weekend. Jesse found my cupcake stash in the pantry. I bought a Christmas uh, cupcake set. You know, the, the cake mix and the matching frosting. Um, he found those. So he wanted to make them the other day, but I told him to wait until this weekend so Daddy can help us make them. So uh, we're going to make Christmas cupcakes. <laughs> we're going to be doing all kinds of Christmas things because there's parades, there's the Christmas light uh, tours. They're doing that again this year. My leg's falling asleep. There's um, the scavenger hunts we like doing. We drive around and look for certain Christmas lights. Uh, yeah, so we're going to be getting into all that stuff. Plus, I'm going to have my yarn balls. And, and Beverly, if you're watching this, I don't know if you watch my chatty videos. I got your package. Uh, it's all packaged up. I got to drop off tomorrow. Uh, it's a pretty big box. <laughs> but um, it's just because the gifts that I got you were chunkier than the yarn. <laughs> and then there's space. So I, I stuffed it full of tissue paper. And there was still space. So I used plastic bags. <laughs> so you're going to get yarn balls, some gifts, some tissue paper, and some plastic bags. <laughs> because I was trying to fill in the space so that it wouldn't shake up too bad but yeah uh I'm mailing that out tomorrow I already got the paid for and everything the print I already printed out the label I just gotta drop it off at the post office <sighs> yeah I guess that's it <laughs> I uh I'm just sitting here chatting now I gotta clean all this stuff up and edit this video and get it out for you guys so I'm gonna go do that I guess and I gotta go clean up the kitchen because I loaded up the dishwasher and ran it but there's still a bunch of dishes that didn't fit in there and a lot of hand wash things like knobs and uh things with wooden handles and um the pizza cutter I don't want to put that in the dishwasher because I'm afraid it'll rust <laughs> it's a fancy like um fancy to me pioneer woman one I'm slowly getting all her stuff <laughs> I got a lot of it but yeah anyways I'm gonna hop off here and I will see you guys in the video tomorrow as watch work on Wednesday and then uh Thursday will probably be a vlog for Thanksgiving <clears throat> I might mix Wednesday and Thursday together because I'm going to be doing Thanksgiving both of those days. I don't know. We'll see. <laughs> I'm going to hop off here and I'll see you guys in another video. Bye guys.